What is the best YouTube channel for Samsung updates, information, and thorough tutorials? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you which AI assistant I have been using for a couple weeks now and why this is the one that I will continue to use and all of the benefits it has over any other AI assistant. Now, the one that I use is Perplexity and I also received Perplexity Pro for free for 12 months and I'll share with you how you're able to get that done and if you don't see where you can get this deal of Perplexity Pro for 12 months for free, I'll share the link below the video inside the description as well as the top pinned comment. So this way you can take advantage of this as well. Now, if you go inside of your Galaxy store, then what you'll do is on the bottom right hand side, go to menu and then you go to deals and events. Now, because of my settings that I have, I want all of the deals and the events to come through because there's a lot of really cool things that they offer you for free or they even give you like $4 just to play a game. Now, right here is Perplexity Pro, 12 months for free. If you don't see this, then I will give that link below the video inside the description as well as the top pinned comment. This is where you download it, you get it opened up, installed, whatever, and here you go. Now, once you have downloaded and installed Perplexity Pro and you wanna make sure that you got that deal from the Galaxy Store, you can just go to their website. So perplexity.ai and you're able to log in with your account, so I'm all logged in. I can go to manage my plan then I'd be able to make sure that I do have it for free for the whole year. Now, the subscription will be canceled on September 17th, unless if I want to update it. And so you can just see right here that it's for free. I got it all paid off is for, you know, zero dollars. And I just have it all until September 17th of 2026. That's just to, again, ensure that you have it. Now, my wife was not able to notice those deals and everything inside the Galaxy Store, which is how I know if you don't see it, my link will work for you. I sent her the link of what I saw when she downloaded Perplexity. It made sure that she got that deal for the whole year for free. Now, here are the reasons why I like Perplexity. And also, you can set it up as your assistant right there with your side key by doing that press and hold. First, let me show you how you're able to get that one set up. So once you have downloaded Perplexity, again, via the link that I put below, or if you saw it inside the Galaxy Store, after that, head over to where you're able to see your apps. Now, inside of apps, on the top, it says, choose your default apps. And then this is where you go to your digital assistant and then you choose perplexity. So you just go right up inside of here. Uh, you'd be able to tap right there. You can choose if you want Google or perplexity. You can also go over here and you can take a look at your system language or English, or if you need to change it, you're able to change it. So I left it as system. And that's how you're able to put it as your default app for your default AI assistant right there. Now let's take a look at Perplexity and why I suggest it to be the best. And then I'm also gonna ask Perplexity why it's the best you know, uh, AI out there and what is some of the benefits. Now, what I like about this one is that you're able to do anything and everything you can do with other AIs, except this one gives you all of the sources. A lot of times when you ask questions, you don't know where all the information is coming from. So it could really be kind of lopsided or even out of date. So this one, this model that it uses, makes sure that it's everything that is most up to date and live on the internet of the most recent accurate information. You can take pictures if you'd want to. So you can open up your camera, point it at something, and then you can take a picture or you can just ask it questions of what is this? So what I like about this though, if you go to ask anything underneath the search drop down, this is where you can switch it from search to research, and then also to labs. Now for the majority of us, we would probably just use search. Now underneath search, I am using the option of best. Now that drop down right there, you can choose any of these, and this is all of the models that it uses and goes through. So underneath best, uh, this is gonna use all of them here, whichever one is the best for whatever I asked, but it'll use Sonar or Claude Sonnet 4.5 or GPT-5, Gemini 2.5 Pro, and then some of the reasoning stuff, the, the Claude Sinet 4.5 thinking, Claude Opus 4.1 thinking, GPT-5 thinking, and then all the rest. And you also have Grok 4 that is on the bottom. Now, next to that is 
that little web icon. That means everything is searching underneath best for whichever model it needs to use for the internet. Now you can change this. So it's gonna search across all of everything on the internet that is live and current. Or you can search it with academic. So it'll search academic papers. For finance, it'll search SEC filings. And then it can just go through social, which is just discussions and opinions. So again, I think the majority of us will use it for web, unless if you're looking for a little bit more in-depth research, then you can head over into academic. So as of right now, we have it underneath search for the web. This is where you can attach images or even take a photo. Uh, and then what's next? This is just where, you know, for your keyboard, you're able to voice your input rather than typing it out. Now, if we go back a screen, because that right there, what we saw was just the asking of a question. That was me just, you know, pressing right there. What this one is, is this is where you're able to take a look at discover and you're able to see news and information. So here is the for you page. Here's all of the top stories. You have tech and science, your finance, arts and culture. So you're able to go through and it shows exactly where it's coming from. And you can also bookmark some of these sources if you would like. This is your spaces. I haven't really gotten into this that much. Uh, and then right over here on the right hand side, this is everything that you have asked it. So this is your library. Now, if you swipe this over, you can add it to your space or you can just swipe it over and then it's able to delete it. So if you swipe over, you can see the option for delete. Now, this is just one that I did. I just opened up the camera and I attached an image of something and I was curious on if this is good for kids. Uh, basically, I asked, is this healthy for kids? And it gives me all of the answers. So not only does it give me all the nutritional you know, values, the summary table, it gives me all the details, but it gives me all of the sources. So then this way you'd be able to see where the sources are from. Now this right here, I also just opened up my camera. I pointed at my Xbox controller and it told me exactly what it is. So since we took a look at this main page right here of all of these different icons, this is the last one that's on the screen and this is the live listening. So this is where you're just able to speak and then it's able to respond back and it's always gonna be in this until you exit out. So I'm just gonna ask it anything. So I'm just gonna go right here and I'm gonna use my voice and I'll just say, what is the benefits of using perplexity over any other AI assistant? So I asked it the question right up over here on the top. This is all of the, the sources it has used. So it has used all of those plus 16 more. So if you'd like to get more in depth of exactly what they stated, you'd be able to take a look at it. Here is the summary of everything that it has found out and then some of the key benefits. So you have real time source backed answers, which again is something that I like because it's not outdated information and you're able to see exactly where it came from to see, you know, if it's leaning left or right or just just regular answers as just right down the center. You also have your transparency and verifiability. You also have high research reliability, contextual understanding. So it interprets not just the words, but the intent behind questions, adapting and refining answers throughout the conversation for complex uh, queries. Integration with multiple AI models. Again, one of the things I showed you from before that it, it doesn't only just use one model, it uses uh, uh, multiple different AI models, practical features on mobile and browser, and then complementary to other AI assistants. So while some AI like ChatGPT excel at content creation and, and conversational engagement, perplexity shines as a dynamic uh, evidence-based search and research tool. And you just go through and you can you know listen to it, you can copy it and you can share it and you can do everything that you want. So what you can do, let's say that um, we just ask the question of here in 2025, we have a government shutdown. What are the reasons why? Now, the reason why I asked this question, and I don't want to be political or anything, but this is something that's happening, you know, right now. But I also wanted to just show the sources because in this way you can see everywhere that it's coming from. So you have, you know, Reuters, BBC, NPR, Brookings, White House, more Brookings, NCSL, you have House, Harvard, USA Today, you have CNN, SSA, and then a few additionals. So this way you can at least see where they are coming from and how all of this information has come from. Now, I mean, a lot of this stuff, I already asked it this question from before, and it's really just talking about how both parties, you know, are, uh, you know, blaming the other. 
And then it also mentions where majority of the United States, you know, where they're really thinking of where it's coming from. You know, if it's coming from Democrats or Republicans, again, I'm not going to get into it. But I like this because it just gives you true, regular, correct, you know, source based answers again. So you know exactly where it is all coming from. And then you could just ask it just simple things like, uh, you know, tell me a joke. Sure thing. Here's one for you. Why don't skeletons fight each other? Because they don't have the guts. Hope that brought a smile to your face. So we're in this active listening portion of it. So it's not the one where we just ask one and, you know, you're done. So now I'm going to say, um, so I'm trying to shoot a YouTube video and I'm looking for content around Samsung devices. What's some of the topics to shoot these videos around? Got it. You're looking for content ideas related to Samsung devices for your YouTube video. Here are a few topic ideas. First, you could do a comparison of the latest Samsung smartphones, like comparing the Galaxy S series. With so the what if I'm not interested in comparing smartphones? Uh, what is some of the top features of Samsung One UI 8? Got it. If you're focusing on Samsung One UI 8, here are some top features you might want to highlight. First, there's improved customization. Okay, so you have all of that, right? You also have all of this over here. So this is your library. This is giving you all the details. Now this right here is a thread. So as you know, it's active listening to me. I first asked it a joke and then talk about content ideas and then talking about, you know, I'm not interested in that. I'm talking about one UI. So they put it into a thread, which again, I think is really cool. Now, one area I didn't show you is on the top left-hand side. This is your settings. So if you would like to, you can actually do incognito mode. So it'll create anonymous threads that don't appear in your library and expire after 24 hours. So if you don't want it to sit there for a while and accumulate, you can turn on your incognito mode. Uh, you can also get notifications. So you can get like daily threads from Discover, AI data retention. You can clear the history. You can log out. You can take a look at AI models, image generation model. Right now, it's just underneath default. Again, I mean, this thing just has so many different AI models together that is just all crazy. Uh, speech recognition. Here's the speech style. So if you don't like the style of that voice, you can change it. So uh, this is all of the styles. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to put it right back up over there because that's the one that I've been using lately. And then for voice mode, it's either hand free or um, press to talk. You also have a little bit of information giving you a little bit of details on the help center. You can manage your subscription, pro support. Here's your pro discord. You can also change your theme. You have uh, some of the capabilities of it. You can enable the assistant, how to access permissions, assistant language, lock screen settings. And then beyond all of that, you also have a widget. So if you like to throw a widget on there, which this is the bigger widget of the two, then this is where you can ask it any questions. You also have like just the voice. You can take a picture and then here's your live listening. This right here just opens up the main page right here where you can ask it stuff and then it just brings up, you know, all the stuff. So more than likely what you'll probably do is just put it underneath search and more than likely you'll just keep it underneath best. So this way it's able to just do regular searches, everyday questions, and it's going to choose which model is the best. You can just leave it on the internet unless if you need to change it, there's your clipping. So you can in input an image or take a photo and that's it. This is why I would suggest using perplexity AI over really any other AI out there. I know some people are a little questionable when it comes down to using everything Google. So you might not, you know, be too interested in, you know, uh, their Gemini or anything like that, or you maybe just want to try something new, or you would like to have three or four different AI assistants to where you just want to find different details, you know, from each and every single one. So this way you kind of merge everything and then get it going. So here's another one. This is Perplexity Pro. You can get it for free for 12 months with the link below the video inside description, unless if you see it inside of the Galaxy Store. So the video that I made yesterday, there was people who didn't find the other content that I talked about, which was a really cool lock screen and wallpapers. So underneath the deals and events, this is where you get your Perplexity, Perplexity Pro for 12 months for free, which is a $200 value. And the other one I talked about yesterday was you know personalizing your lock screen, which is super cool. There's a bunch of different lock screens that you're able to use. You can also change the image uh, based around all of this. And so this is where I found it. Again, if this is something that you're interested in and you want to also get this too, just let me know in the comment section below that if you are not able to find this one, then I'll be able to share this one with you as well. But anywho, hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you've never used Perplexity before, give it a shot, give it a try. I do enjoy it. I do like it. I've been using it for about a month now. 
and I've never gone back over into Gemini or anything else. Uh, I am a huge fan of Perplexity, and I think you will be as well, too. But if you guys appreciated this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely, you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.